All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to join the test server. This is something that I think is one of the most important things you can do to develop your career as a pilot. Um, the test server is something that runs just about every week. It's put on by the developers. Once you get signed on the, the regular list, um, you'll get an opportunity every week to join it. So I'll show you how this works. First, you go to your main opening screen, your main uh, hangar screen here. I'll show you how to you just start your game. And then you're gonna see um, the help button in the or the menu button in the lower left. Tap on that. And then when you do, you're gonna go up to this next screen. These are screens you probably know about, but I'm gonna make sure you know where they're at. So then you're here. Then you wanna tap on that help button in the lower uh, right area there. When you tap on that, you're gonna get a whole bunch of opportunities, but one of them is gonna show you this little um, screen here. Hang on, it's taking a while to load here. I wanna make sure we walk you through the steps. So then you get this screen. So then you're gonna go scroll down to where it says test server, like that. And then you tap on that, and then it's gonna open up the next little window here. I'm gonna show it to you here. And there you go. And then you tap the, the very first one, which is uh, what is a test server and who can become, you can learn all about it here, but test on that link. And then you'll get to this one here um, and you'll have to, and you'll get to, um, uh, you'll have to join the ba Facebook page in order to be able to find the link that'll take you to the test server to sign up for you. So you tap on that link and it's gonna take you to this next page. But it's important that you tap the posts button there first and then you're gonna get to the very next one and then you'll see this and then you'll see the, the most recent one but then you have to tap the more to open up more things there once you tap that now you've got where you can see the two different links to download the link to the test server and you might be Android or you might be iOS so you tap on the link that obviously is appropriate for you and then when you do then you can install the test server it'll talk to you all about how to do that then you tap the install button and it's just gonna go ahead and download that app. It's gonna look like a whole new um, uh, War Robots uh, icon on your screen, but it's gonna be the test. Now I speeded it up there so we don't have to wait for the whole thing to download. Now then you, when you try to download it, it'll say you can't. You have to go and trust it. So you go to settings and you tap the settings button and then and it's gonna open up a screen here. You scroll down where it says um, the uh, management thing there and you tap on that and then you have to tap Pixonic, and then you have to trust Pixonic LLC. Make sure you hit the trust button. And when you do that, now if you back out of the screen, now you can go ahead and tap on that icon and open it up. Now, if the test server isn't quite running yet because it's on schedules, you'll get this screen here. No matter how many times you tap it, you're just gonna see that. So just go ahead and close it out and wait for that length of time it's gonna tell you. It also told you what the scheduling for the test servers were on the other page. When it is going though, then you test it. Then you've got this. You can pretty much choose from any bot you want and any weapon you want. You can go to the store. You're, you first, it's gonna show you the ones that are pretty much available no matter what. And it's all in the store there. And you can pick one out of these. So you're, these are your pretty much your standard bots. Now I am a, um, I am a Zeus Fury guy or a Fury guy. So I'm gonna put the general on here and I'm gonna load him up with tridents. I just, I love playing with him. But obviously you might wanna try other things. So what you need to do is make sure you're logged into the game room here, back out, and then watch what you do. You go back to your main screen here. Oh, you can put in your name too, because this is a test server. So you can put in your, your favorite name. You can use the same one you want or anything. It doesn't cost anything. So put in your name there and, um, and then back out. Now watch this, go to your main screen. In the upper left, there was a tab. I should have slowed down, but it's just like the roulette tab, but tap on that. And from that, you have all these other fancy exotic bots that are available for you to simply download into your uh, available garage. So make sure you do that. You do that from the very home page. And um, so your home page, um, you go to the upper left and then tap that screen. It's like they have a deal. It's like a deal button. Hit the deal button and you'll see all these new ones and you can just go through and systematically log in and okay all of them. You'll get all of them. Now, that you see when you download weapons, it's a certain quantity. So you get four of each one. So it's not like you can put um, Avengers on every heavy slot in your hangar. Only on the ones that you have, that you only get four on each one. So remember that. It's not gonna be like you can have just a whole bunch of stuff running all the same weapon. They want you to try to mix it up and build unique builds. But this is an awesome way to try different weaponry that you've never tried before, see how it might work, 
or if you have it but you want to trade on a different bot, you can try that too. They're all going to be at the same levels. Everyone gets level eight weapons, level eight on the um on the uh on the weapons and on the um robots. Um, and then obviously you start off with one slot, but just like anything else, you can buy more slots. You have seventy five thousand gold to start with, and one million three hundred um thousand silver. Now, because almost everything's free, you really don't have to worry about um, the, the gold or the silver. Um, and what I did is I went ahead and made my, I'm going to make a, a hanger. And then I'm going to, and you can also get the modules here. Don't forget to get your um, your uh, modules and pick the modules you want. They have different test modules too. So I'm just going to go through and outfit all my guys, pick the ones that I want to try. Now, you can build multiple hangers or I think you don't get multiple hangers. But what you can do is you can just keep changing around your hanger and try different slots and configurations and everything else and just basically launch another battle with whatever new stuff you want to try. So that way you can swap uh, weapons around on different ones and you have like, you know, a whole like hours and hours of blocks to try it out. And you jump out there and you're going to battle against other, uh, see now all those ones I downloaded are all now available in my inventory. So um, I'm just kind of going through and again, I'm outfitting my, um, my guys the way I want to and I just kind of did that systematically on all my different builds. And I also did that with, um, there's, I've got, I got uh, Fury all going, uh, my, my general. And I'm going to take care of all my different guys. I'm going to load him up. I just like tridents. I think they're a fantastic um, weapon. So um, it works for me. And hey, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Um, I've always wanted to run a little. Um, these are stings. Um, they're they're the acid goo one. I'm putting them on a pursuer. Uh, and I've got a. I'm going. I'm playing Ares. I'm going to make him a, a scourge. But I'm also going to put some lockdown weapons on him too. So I'm going to get the scourges on there, and then I'm going to put those. Um, the well, I think it's the halo. Yeah, put the halos on there. So you'll lock them down and freeze them. Um, and then if they shoot at you, you can use your ability thing there too. Um, and then um, let's see. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to get Buzzkill. I love Buzzkill. I don't know who doesn't. But I'll tell you what. Buzzkill. He runs around in uh, experts. He runs around in masters. He even runs around in champs and absolutely owns anyone he faces, at least initially. So I'm gonna have some fun and uh, and put a and put a Buzzkill in there just the way I run him. And then I'm trying in this Invader. You know, hey, Invaders, they are serious. Now I don't play with Invaders, so I'm just going with something I think would work well. But I could be wrong. But basically, it's almost like a um, a uh, it's almost the same thing as. Um, uh, my mender as a uh, buzzkill. So um, now I'm gonna make sure I'm going into these modules. These, I have no idea what they do. And you know what? There's a good, good chance I'm never even gonna use them on um, on the regular uh, te server because uh, my bots just don't have uh, the ability to load a bunch of heavy uh, modules on there. But you know what? This is a test server. Play around with something you've never tried. This is something called Battleborn. Um, this is really good for people who play Beacon Rush because it essentially gives you some higher durability right out of your spawn. So if you're getting spawn raided um, by another team, you launch with a little higher durability so you can at least make it out without getting crushed right as soon as you um, um, as soon as soon you spawn. So that's a, a great uh, new module that they're trying out. So, you know, they're trying to, you know, slow down some of the insanity that happens out there when a high ranking clan is in with a bunch of randoms, which happens sometimes. And, you know, before you know it, you've got a whole clan on top of your spawn point. What do you do? Well, these modules might help with that. But you know what? You know, be careful with Pick, Pick Sonic. And uh, I love them and all for making a great game. But, you know, what they do is they create a problem and then they create a solution to the problem that costs you money. And you know what? That's just a business model. It it's it works for them. Hey, all the power to them. They're making money, and if they're making money, I'm fine with that. I don't spend money. I use a a, a medium uh, builds. I use I play on pretty much a medium rank uh, masters and experts. Um, and uh, I don't try to get up into the high cotton champions. Um, you know, because it takes really a lot of money to stay up there. Um, for those of you out there that are in champions and aren't spending money, man. All the power to you, um, I, you, and my hat's off to you, and you've got my respect, because it's hard to do. Um, so um, I'm just basically going through and putting on modules that I would like to have on these bots. You know, the bigger bots can have a, three or whatever. Um, and then I've made up my um, my hanger here, and that's what it's going to look like. And I'm going to go run out, but I can change it up as much as I want during the whole test server. So there you go, guys. So what you got to go on, then you just hit the start button just like any other battle. 
Sometimes it takes a little long for them to get started, but there you go. Now you know all about the test server. Peace out, guys.